Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, let's start with Ben. I have continued my undefeated streak for the year, um, taking home both locals. Yes, this time with wins rather than draws. Yeah. I only drew one of the two last week, but still, I have not lost a game this year. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't need to buy any of the fire cards. Lost a match this year or lost a game? Lost a match. I haven't lost a match yeah, this year. I was like, yeah, he's, he's dropped, he's he's dropped two, games. If he's 2 owing everyone, that's actually kind yeah. of crazy. Jake tried to sneak a draw on me today. He tried to pull a sneaky one. No, I forgot what game we were in. I thought we drew. <laughs> like, Old draw Jake, they call him. It was a weird game state where like, we both weren't really doing that much, but I had a hand trap and Jake was top decking. Mm. And then the timer went. I was like, oh shit. I thought the timer wasn't due for another like, five minutes. And then and he's Jake's like, oh, like, oh so we drew. Yeah. And I was like, well, no, I, I just attacked you. So this is game three. Yeah, I might change up my list somewhat because, <laughs> like, when it gets to those points and I am top decking, it's real rough. Yeah. It's real bad. So Although, there was a point today where Jake activated King Sark and then was like, discard foolish. And I was like, damn, okay. And then he's like, ah, oh, for my second King Sark, discard rotor. And I'm like, Bro, <laughs> the fuck? Well, that's uh, the thing. Like, I need like the, of the cards I had in my head, I was anticipating different interactions. Like the imperm, like the yeah, he then like normal summoned gear. So I went imperm, he went pass. That's all I had. <laughs> in saying that, you didn't do much on your turn either. So that's all I needed. See, I didn't do that because I was an idiot. <laughs> because I had you another imperm, that... and I could have started my turn by going imperm your negate. Uh, start playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at the moment I activated the card, I was like, well, I fucked up here. <laughs> can you not rotor an extender in this anymore? You can, but like, because you're pitching so many cards from hand, the extender is Dark Refa, yeah. but if you've pitched your Nightmare and shit from your hand, you have nothing no to... Others. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you may as well make it a... a so, uh, I should probably do some research to see if there's some other stuff that I can put in that potentially mitigates that issue, like stuff that can do stuff in Grave, so that if I'm pitching stuff, it's less resources that I need in hand, more resources that can do stuff in bit. But unfortunately the snows and stuff of the game don't exist anymore, and not that many cards trigger off being sent to the graveyard as cost. Mm. So I just want to check, so you all, when you did your hair this time, is it like a darker gold fading out, or? I oh, know, so I mean, the the regrowth is still yellowy because it's that, uh, the other okay. the other one on top went white. Okay. Which is, so I'm gonna redo okay. the regrowth and not touch the white, or I'll destroy the hair. Yeah. So I was, I was just looking at like, with the reflection. I was, it actually looks pretty sick. You know, I'm like going to open dark gold going out into a light. If anyone has any opinions, let me know what color you want to see because I can't make up my mind. Bum, 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 bum. Have you ever done like the super platinum blonde? Uh, I've tried. I was also inspired by seeing that photo of Lady Gaga in the in the Yu-Gi-Oh mm. chat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cool hair, and then no one replied. And then I'm tempted. We'll figure it out. You it's can, it, it, you, it's going to require another couple of bleaches. You too can lure Mr. Incredible to an island where you plan to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I love that reference so much. It's so good. Uh, anyway, this was what a very early on? tangent. What's uh, going on else? You started it. That was, that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, proceeded to win both locals. Cool. Brag. I remember. We'll talk about Pokemon instead. Nah, we'll get to that. Uh, Jewel Links, yeah, it's grinding out. Some of that new... Uh, so it's it's the seventh anniversary of Jewel Links, I think I saw, which they give out heaps of cool stuff and just the rush all section, they just don't give anything to. And it's like, no, nah, well... But it's I seven for it's, sevens. As, yeah, but it's not the seventh anniversary of the rush all portion. So maybe in... Is it not? Six and a, a bit years. No. Well, no. Rush has only been out for three months like Bold. I mean like all time yeah when did we get Rush Duels because we got so yes, it's, a, it's a seven year anniversary yes 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 of Rush Duels no no it was ages no it's five sure it's like five I was going to say six. It, it's it's a while oh my god when did they take away the no it wasn't Master. COVID it wasn't COVID the year yeah, COVID. yeah so four years it was whenever they said we didn't have to summon where the links pointed anymore yeah yeah which was just after COVID which is an alarmingly long time ago <laughs> Wait, 2020 YCS was still playing with stuff going to the MZ? I don't remember. Maybe. 
Yeah, we would have been because it was still Orcus format. Yes, and we'll, we had to go up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Hanson? Yeah. 10 years since the original YCS as well. That's probably been my thing as well. So I've been tossing up a meme based on that. Do I mention... No. no we, we, don't, we don't talk about that deck yet. Uh, Pokemon. Been playing VGC. Uh, the, a uni's... Um, a uni's uh, has a society... Of like I think it's a branch off of their video game society. So they just host a challenge that gives out points for the World Championship. UTS. I was going to give them recognition, but sure. Oh, so you was, seemingly liked it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, whoever runs that society, like, that that was a great, like, great locals. Uh, the stream uh, apparently had stream a stream was really shit. It was bad. But I think it was the quality of the video getting pushed out of the Switch. Because, like, the commentators were like, this is really laggy. Which is crazy because... So it must be going through a few loops because the in-house feed looked clear as like, clear as day, but we couldn't hear the commentary. So I reckon yeah. they'll then taking that feed and yeah, the, on passing it. Yeah, that feed was coming through very choppy. So even even with actual HDMI capturing, maybe it is a bit harder to run a stream. I I give you credit, Jerome. You have done okay, I guess. There's still room for improvement. Like Sydney getting a stream. Yeah. This is also a uh, club of a university, not a multi-million dollar division of a global company. So there is definitely room for improvement to Rome. Do not I would love to have a look at their books one day. I want to know the profit. Surely be able to look it up. Invest. <laughs> if you an buy, investor. if you buy one dollar worth of share, they have to tell you. If but is, I it, buy... is it publicly traded? Konami. Yeah. Surely. That, Someone figure that out. I have an, an Apple shareholder meeting to attend in like two weeks. You're going to spank Tim Cook? And be like, bitch, <laughs> where's my eye plane? The ITV yes. should have been... That's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so pretty quiet on Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, getting together all the voice uh, voiceless stuff. I'm going to have to deal with Ultra Pendulum Graph because I'm not paying $20 for a secret. I probably should pay $20 for a secret. But I won't. I can't believe people are playing Pendulum Graph. It's good. No, oh, I just can't believe there's a day where we're playing that card. Oh, yeah. It's all in... Good's actually an exaggeration. Mm. But since it does odd eye stuff, naturally, I am attracted to it. Well, rebellion stuff. Oh, no, I've moved. Yeah. Mm. The microphone's going to be stuffed. It is publicly traded. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's saying that, I think, per share, it's 8,599 yen. Oh, that's not that much. That's like... It's up 189%. Oh no, sorry, 189 yen. Up, up they saw the bonfire. Actually, well, no, we're, we're not sure about bonfire. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll be getting to that, don't you worry. Uh, that's, all, that's all for me, I It did get a print. So, uh, my week. Still on August Bestial uh, Horus, uh, or Hawks <laughs> Dragons. Um, as previously mentioned i need to do some research to see if there's better ways to uh mitigate resource loss um one way i've thought about it is currently i'm running a copy of branded beast and branded regained i think i might just move it to branded regained yeah. just so, so that i'm seeing it because just being able to keep that resource loop going would be really important um yeah and just some more research needs to be done but for the most part like it keeps pace with the best performing deck currently which is fire kings to a point once it gets to that point though the fire kings just gain a lot more resources off a lot fewer cards a lot of the issue though is that like i'm playing three dd crow and three so oh, even three like i'm not just comparing it to your deck i'm comparing it to the total sum of fire yeah. king decks i've versed i'm just and more getting to like in our matchup specifically like I was getting that at the time when it then meant you had to commit more resources and yes. you've been running out of resources before I ran out of resources. And it's purely because I'm not seeing Branded Regained. If I'm yeah. seeing that, Flip I'm getting stuff back in the deck sooner. So, yeah, some tweaking to be done, um, but also the new Sinful Spoils will be coming out uh, next month, uh, so then I can begin <coughs> testing with Snack Knights. Yeah, that, that, new, that new Snake Eye card is really good. And yeah. I'm starting to like the idea of Snake Eyes without it. Like, Oh, just Snakes. Yeah, just Snakes. There's heaps of shit they can do. Just generic, just spam. Like, not enough locks it. What were you 
Are we talking about those <laughs> new well, snake well, we tarts? Were. Yeah. Those yeah. aren't in the next set. They're in the set after. Oh, here we go. What? No, 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 no. Not the ones he that did, just he got did announced. Say next month. The little pink guy. Yeah, the little, oh, yeah, the pink guy. Purple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's okay. the most recent main set, which is like start of Feb. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Of Feb. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm talking about. That's okay. the one I want. Um, so yeah, uh, but also I need to work out what the fuck I'm going to play for YCS because I am obviously not going to be playing August. Why not? Because there's still a lot of teething problems. Ah, that's fine. I may well just like and and yeah, the deck still doesn't isn't at full power. Vikings. Yeah, yeah, that's you're, you're the thing. struggling the, with resources. And once the still next missing. thing comes out, is like yeah, shit. An extender and three more starters. Like, and how, how do you play when combo. your opponent puts your ding in your back room? Yeah, mm-hmm. ding sit, ding go back there. Wait for Ori Calcos to activate so he can attack again. Yes. Yep, I understood that. Maybe anyway, you get ten months. You can summon once you spawn trap zones on Orichalcos. Face up. Bullshit. I imagine Orichalcos lets you play the back row, and then you can just keep linking and stuff. Jesus. You link in your own board. <laughs> anyway, uh, then in Master Duel with the ban list, um, I've been changing up decks and things. So for a little bit, I play Brain Dead, but for the most part, I play Sword Soul because it's very Brain Dead. Just rank up. It's very simple. Um, and it just has Not more. Room, it just has more room for hand traps, and with the advent of like, Manadium and mm-hmm. stuff like, um, what's the other deck that just came out? Oh, um, Super Heavy Samurai as yep. well. Having Drolls and Ashes and stuff like that is really important right now, and you just can't afford to run that level of hand trap interaction in branded, because, like, most of your resources are spent just playing your turn. True, my brain went off like the monkey man monkey gone it seemed like it did yeah you'd switched off for a little bit there yeah so you just want to know where my brain was so you know how in the links anime they have the spell in the back row that points upwards oh judgment arrows yeah 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 do you reckon there's a way to go like sky striker card galatea pointing down into judgment arrows to then point (laughs) up into something (laughs) oh the v-link's possible by the way yeah 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 but I want Galatea to be in the middle. <laughs> Why? Because mm. then I can summon Ding. I can you link my opponent and then put the Ding in the middle. So stupid. Ding. Oh, also apparently someone caught on stream that Logan dinged himself, which is not a thing you can do. Oh, it, he dinged and... himself off a of Galatea. He summoned with two normal monsters. Ah, perfect. Yes, that's what you want. Wait, normal monsters? Yes. Oh my god. He was playing the. Ib- Build. How did this man come top five in a VGC when he doesn't know that? Um, Answer, he just clicks buttons. Anyway, moving on to some news. Uh, so we start with Master Duel. As uh, mentioned, we had some new stuff come in. Obviously, Super Heavy Samurai is probably the biggest swing in there. Uh, you've got the Transcender Sauruses, which have just come out, as well as Nemrelia, which is probably going to get played as like a funny OTK deck. It's not very good. Um, we got some new deck slots as well for all of the decks you like to play, Ben. I know you're super, super excited. Hmm? Contrary to popular belief, my deck slots are full. Yeah. I'm going to ask for proof of this later. I just don't ever delete any decks. And oh, most so you've of still them got like the, <laughs> like the event decks. Yes. Of... <laughs> all the decks he's made for um, cups. Oh yeah, all those cups that he's playing. Yeah, there's like six different Dragon Maid builds from as cards have <laughs> needed to go in and out. This one has two maxi. This one has three maxi. It's just every time a card gets hit, I don't, you don't... fix the deck. I just make a new one. <laughs> sure. Um, we do get a new mate in Soul Eating Over Raptor. But not before I go into the pre-existing deck and junk the cards that have been banned. Yeah. Oh, just quickly on that too. Um, so, uh, Magical Dragon got banned, yes. obviously. I went to decraft mine and I can't see it in my list. It's not there. Banned. Yeah, but you should still be able to decraft it. Not yeah, so they you ban it. It takes it away from being listed in your filters. So you in your it. filters, you have to set C banned. Uh, okay, maybe that's the problem. Yeah. So I'll do that when I get home. Yeah, because it's a royal rare. So like, it's definitely worth decrafting because I get many points back. So you're going to be 90 for that? Or that's still the regular 30? Well, they give you an extra. They give you extra for decrafting royals as well. So it's yes. 10 so for the royal. The so bonus. maybe we're going to be 60. Uh, 10 for the normal ultra. I think another 5 or 15 for it being royal. And then the decraft bonus for being banned. Which is just puts is. it back up to its regular crafting cost. Yeah. So yeah. it's 30. Where does it go after the... 
the royal. Sure, uh, I think it's. I think it's another fifteen. You're going to find out the math for us later. True. Uh, so yeah, Soul Eating over wrapped a new mate. Um, we get some new sleeves. It's like a pentagraph green. Huh? The yeah. mate. You yeah. just buy it. Oh. I might buy that. It's three hundred, so it's reasonably priced. I'm gonna buy that. Um, they've got some new pendulum green sleeves, which is like um, that kind of design. Oh, yeah. It looks really nice. Yeah. I might use them. Oh. I bought them. Mm. Um, we get two new icons, uh, three new icons, uh, no, two new icons. One uh, Wakashi from the Super Heavy Samurais, and the uh, Nimrelia sleepy bitch. Right, it's yeah. Wakashi. But it has a you. Wakashi wow. It's Wakashi, yeah. Okay. Wakashi wa osama. Uh, and then following the attribute thing that they've been doing for product releases, we get the Earth icon surround and the Earth deck box. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy wondering Earth. whether or not anyone would understand what I just said. Earth. We'll find out. Um, but moving on to the physical card game, we have some new cards having been announced. Uh, so we start with some stuff for the Goblin Riders. Um, so they get a new rank 3. Um, if the monster is normal special summon while this card's on the field, uh, yes, two plus level three monsters. Cool. So if the monster is normal special summon while it's on the field, uh, target one of them, detach an Xyz from a monster on the field, and if you do, change that targeted monster's battle position. Uh, and then when a monster declares an attack, detach an Xyz from a monster on the field, and if you do, negate the attack. Um, go goblins, go. <laughs> Um, and then they get a trap as well. Uh, targeting Xyz you control, special summon a goblin Xyz from your extra deck using that monster as material and if this you do attach needed. this card to uh, attach this card to it as material yeah. uh, six. and then banish this card from your graveyard targeting goblin exes you control of one card in either graveyard attach the second target to the first target as material so even if you just full card burial, monster turn on both? Uh, or is it a one effect only? no you can use uh, each of them in a turn sweet so even if you just foolish goods this and have it sitting in the bin Not as disruption for later tidying. Not even full tidying. Bam. Um, we also get, assuming it's in here, I hope. They learnt from tidying. Too broken. Remember that that error of where Dragon Maze just dominated? They, yeah, did. Can't give it to them. Yep. Then can't the Madolchi trap showed up. Can't have goblins having a tidying. Uh, it's that trap's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's alright. For the deck like, that it's in, it's like, as you said, it's kind of needed. Opponent activates, uh, Fucking symbol skeleton targets their ding trap attach the ding to my. Why are you gonna hurt me like this? Pre broadcasting what you're gonna do to my poor fucking yes. orcists. That's specifically with how goblins. I will beat you with. Oh goblins. man, imagine if goblins just start dunking on orcists. You gotta keep playing it till next month. I wanna see it. Well, that's, this card doesn't come out till uh, oh. we get oh. this is ages away. Hell, hot might be three. Hot might be three. <laughs> <laughs> this is an anti light spawn card in the light spawn set. <gasps> hmm. <laughs> how dare those goblins um but we have the uh nemesis having been announced for the black witch diablo star nemesis. in diabels of Sorry. the original sin it's uh, just as bad as ecclesia's nemesis illusion level seven ecclesia's nemesis yeah who's that ben ecclesia <laughs> sure Is um it? So, you can only special summon this card with its first effect uh, once Sorry, per turn. Ecclesia's not in the Alabaz lore, is it? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Interesting. What the hell? I, just, yeah. I don't know. My brain figured that, you know, maybe the four years we had both of them, maybe they split them up. No. Um, I mean, well, they do get split up at a point. No. They're all on the same planet? They're the same. No, they get split up, though. I'm just saying there's a lot of different Albazes and there's a lot of different Ecclesias. Yeah. Uh, sure. There's Virtuous, yeah. and there's the other one the dogmatica one the dead one yeah no you're thinking of um you're thinking of Fleur de Lee she's the one that dies Fleur de Lee dies spoilers what Jake where does thingy go then she becomes Cartesia does she fuck up right, we'll, we'll get into it well we're gonna get into this <laughs> and then Ib showed up you know how hard it is no. to write that <laughs> in a creative way hmm Oh, it, it's it's a long time coming. When are we going to do it? No yeah, actually, we do need to work that out at some the, point. The, miss the daylight yeah. savings curve. Yeah. Wait, no. We're, we're we, wanted, dark, we right? wanted to do it in the dark, but we'll need to work out the lighting. Anyway, it's a whole other conversation. It's off pod chat. Anyway, um, so yeah, if uh, there's the a sinful spoils card in either graveyard, she special summons herself. Um, your opponent cannot activate spell or traps that were not set. So quick plays. It's effectively anti spell for quick plays. 
anti-spell is an anti-spell for quick place. Yeah, no, but it's anti-spell for every spell. If you set a normal spell under her, you can still flip it and activate it. Okay. An impact. Yeah, that too. Um, and then if a spell or trap is set to the field while this monster is on the field, target one card you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. So, okay. Yeah, so it's a it's a semi negate. Oh, it baits a it forces it's a interaction. It does yeah. stuff, um, but she gets a so a chain. So it's a quick effect to summon it from hand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, never mind. Then. Yeah, okay. that'd be bonkers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Effect. I thought it was like there was going to be utility. It's where like you Ecclesia. Go. Yeah. Or Baron Fleur. Well, I'm not that quick. I'm not that good. Yes. <laughs> uh, she gets in a, a tap a trap that's attached to her thematically uh take a level five or higher illusion monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it if it's summoned this way it cannot activate its effects during the main phase of this turn so all the illusions in this law no no this is just illusions within this law it does not mean that all illusions are within this law but this search is most illusion she doesn't even have an eye does she no we worked that out the other day she doesn't have a millennium eye yeah. ah that's two now uh, and then banish this card from your graveyard, target a face down card you control, return it to the hand, then you can set one spell trap from your hand. Yeah. Not a great effect. No. Yeah. Gets a pop. It's fine. Considering Master Towers around and the special summon from like the it's not needed. How does that deck out towers? Literally Apocalypse Lot Towers. Which deck? That deck. I don't know. Something. Um, Snake Eye. Yeah. Or Diablo style. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to climb into something. Is it time to play Towers, towers again? No, because the Lynx is still so great and Access Code Talker beats that card every day of the week, but hey. Yeah, you can just get into Access. They Maybe. should ban Access Code Talker. <laughs> so that I can Maybe. play my skill drains. They might need it. Like, I mean, that's probably worth it. No, just... they've already slapped down Mathmech. You don't need to take another thing away from no, like everything right else. Now. Like, it's just, it's always going to be like, a, oh, I need a Link 4 that can run over stuff. It's like, this... it's like well, then we just move on to Bottle Sword. Yep. And then if that gets banned, we move on to load. Uh, the load. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh, the next uh, archetype, I th I'm assuming it's attached to the law thematically, but I don't know. Well, she's um, still in the bloody. She's still in the the one we're talking about before. Yeah, we're talking about we're talking about the illusion woman here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's holding the she's holding the cat from um, Phantom Nightmare in her left hand. She's like, oh no 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 no! I know that she's attached to yeah. that law. I'm Don't talking about snack. the next archetype, um, which is the Rakia. Huh? Oh wait, yeah, maybe the Shadow Bob archetype. Yeah, I was kind of hyped because part of it looks like it would be attached to Diablo Star lore, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, I thought you meant her. I'm like, she's literally is a no, no, no. What are you I, talking about? I, I stated that in yeah, my yeah, opening I, statement. I know. That's what I thought you just forgot. <laughs> I needed to anyway. check and see if I saw my snack cards. Yeah. yeah, I definitely still have my Ogdotic, so I'm very keen for this. Uh, so yeah, for anyone who hasn't seen it, which is probably nobody, but for anyone who hasn't, it's an archetype of plants, insects, and reptiles. Uh, link spam stuff that uh, locks you to plants and insects and, and locks you to the tri-type but the new tri-type of uh, flowers ants and what's the other thing snacks. snacks so I can link summon my X crawler you can you can you probably won't but you can but I can flip things face up <laughs> yes someone doesn't know what crawlers do that's, that's what that <laughs> that's link what crawler does, does. Um, so yeah, they get uh, currently three main deck monsters and I think it's four links in total. Uh, they get a link five from the get go. Damn. Um, they oh, real nice. Got an access code, Walker. Uh, and a lot of them um, on. I won't read into the whole thing because there's a lot of cards to do with it. Their best card's probably their trap um, because um, you can target cards your opponent controls up to a number of the new tri type link monsters you control with different types and destroy them. Um, and then if a face-up plant or reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect while it's in the graveyard, um, banish this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Now, the reason I thought this was better than it is, is because in the original translation, it didn't say you had to banish it. Ah, okay. It sounded as if it just sat there, and it's like any time one of your insect tri-type things was destroyed, you just go... From the grave? Yeah. Why would that not banish itself, Jake? Well, that's the thing. That's why I thought it was really good. Um, but like, yeah, just a floodgate that enters the battle, enters the graveyard. I was like, I'm now active floodgate. Yeah, I'm but it's a graveyard. reactive floodgate. It's 
Now that I've raised that, why has that never existed? Apparently it's too good. The way you reacted would dictate that it's too busted. It is pretty busted. Like, imagine if Gravekeepers had effectively Necro Valley, but only if that Gravekeeper monster was in the graveyard. You really struggled on saying Gravekeeper just yes. now. <laughs> Holy fuck. What? Like, a Gravekeeper monster yeah. that's while it's in the graveyard, yeah. Necro Valley. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be bonkers because you wouldn't be able to get it out of the graveyard. That would yeah. be bonkers. Do it. <laughs> like, only this card oh. is affected. Um, yeah, that would make it fair because yeah. then you could get rid of it. You can no, throw it. No, have opponent, it, no just, just have it in the gate itself. That and Necro Valley <laughs> face off. Can't get rid of it. Sorry. Yeah, but I, th- I think that's an avenue that we could definitely explore. I think it probably falls into a similar vein of like the Chaos Xyz shit that you want to do. Um, Founder of the Necro Valley. So level 4 warrior that while it's in grave has the same effect as Necro Valley. Except you can Surely we're about due it. for another run of Necro Valley support. I'm and giving you ideas, Jerome. 175th Take errata it. of Necro Valley. Yeah, they'll errata it so that. You, it includes you, cost now. Yeah. And well, it also. It, it literally just stops the rebellion because. For some reason, that card's able to circumvent it because it also summons from hand, even though you can see full well your opponent's just done it from graveyard. So you're telling me that under Necro Valley, I can summon Grunix? No, Grunix is an activated effect, right? Yeah, the belly and just goes. Boop. Yeah. Okay, that sucks. It's like Graf. Graf is not an activated effect; it's just a sentence. Even though it's an effect monster, and it's not coming back because of cost. It's not. Oh, pay cost, come back. It's because it's a fiend. Yeah. Fiends get to do that kind of stuff. And dragons. <laughs> nah, dragons, different. As if Mummy Diablo Star would not eat this bug swordsman for breakfast. I mean, yeah. He's got nothing. That bug swordsman's cool. He and is. the thing is, I feel like she probably would go after him, but then the second she tried, this fucking skull yeah, plant looking thing looked at so her. It does look like. Can the yeah, snake, the artwork's really cool. Can the snake, like, summon itself back from grave or something? Um, yep. Uh, special summon this card from your hand by banishing an insect, uh, plant, or reptile from your graveyard. Discard one plant, insect, or reptile. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls, uh, and return to the hand. So, no, it doesn't summon itself from the graveyard. Well, that's the main deck one. The links and stuff are the ones that I'm recur. Just, just more saying if you activate snake rain, you can send it and get it back. Um, oh, wait, was that even the reptile? Yeah, it was the reptile. Um, that particular one, no. Okay. But there's Which, but by you've design, got Night imagine. Sword. You've yeah. got Night Sword Serpent, and like, effectively, I think it's like this card's like a one and a half card starter. Like, it pretty much gets you to everything you need. He's pointing at the light. Is well, he is the light. So are they yeah. just going to do this with reptiles now, like kind of what they did with the Beast Warriors with the Tribal Game, where it's like, oh, all right, we're just going to have to start rolling these into other types and make the good cards not be searchable or millable. And yes. Since, so we want to design some reptile cards, but. Oh, the main starters of the deck um, might not make them reptile because more. Yes. Yeah, try types uh, from here on out for reptiles. What else will it be combined with? Fiends. Nah, too good. True. They're going to mix it with sea serpents. Illusions and worms. It's been, it has been a while since sea serpents have been important. 2042, year of the sea serpent, baby. Yes. Mark my words. Sea serpent bonfires, let's go. Yes. That already exists. Does it? Yeah, there's a deep sea card that searches um, sea serpents. Yeah. Just flat out. For a you, have to banish like it's, it's, a, you have to banish a water monster from your graveyard. Okay, well that's not... That's not not the same. Yeah. Not free. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that is that sea serpents also have a card where you can discard, look at your opponent's hand and banish a card from until the end of the turn. So it is kind of free. This sounds like a bricking combos. This sounds like this card would have been expensive. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's the third time we've tried to segue him into the talking point that we'll, he wanted we'll to I'm fucking getting we'll to get it him. let's we'll, chat we'll, about we'll, it now shall we uh, uh, we're going to come back to the other announced cards right always going to skip them we can always skip them I mean we can come back to them yeah, yeah, this yeah. is important news I was yeah. going to talk about it first yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think this is important news it isn't well, no, it kind of is. It is. From what I saw, from what I saw not three hours ago, it is. There's a lot of stuff happening on X, formerly known as Twitter, as well as uh, YouTube. You said and the everything. line. I did say the line. Um, <laughs> just in case there's any boomers in our uh, thing that don't know what X is. I'm straight out. <laughs> I will never. I'll. I, it's always going to be Twitter. I will only. I will dead name Twitter as X, formerly known as Twitter. All right. Yeah. Well, you can do that. 
So, uh, a week or so ago now, the uh, videos went up for the... The night uh, of... The, the, day, the morning of the podcast. Yeah, again. Slightly behind like on it. I'd like to point out that we got out of, and ahead of this whole shit with the question that we answered on last week's podcast. Yeah, we talked about this. And then every YouTuber's like, car prices... Too expensive, guys. Yeah, I'm so, on your side. So in Don't summation, we, do we we run that every few months. Yeah, but this time we did it first. Yeah, someone literally asked us the question about prices, and we were like, "Yeah, prices are getting insanely high. Like, it is a bit ridiculous." <laughs> blah 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 blah. Then YouTubers, every YouTuber, you your prices to too expensive, guys. We didn't draw the we draw the line now, and not like back we, in at Emancipator and Elbridge. We, we draw the price. Uh, we draw the line on the pre-order price for Bonfire before. The chance has even been had for the collector's rare to enter circulation and bring down the price of the Ultra so, completely. So yeah, in summation, um, Bonfire was announced as an Ultra in a only Ultra set. At the time, the only known quarter century rare was the uh, Junk Warrior, which no one gives a fuck oh, about. The, but that's a, but it's not a quarter. But it's the, it was yeah. the only one that's in there. It uh, is the only at one. First, yeah. yeah, at first it was the only one we knew but about. But we knew about the collector's it, it, it is the only one. Yeah, I know, no, but at the point of announcement... Okay. Yep. It was the only one that we knew was getting one. We didn't mm -hmm. know if or if not there yes. would be other cars getting quarter century rare. Okay. Now I've, we know that there isn't. I've, yes. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I've given you every opportunity to correct yourself. Are you going to go down the route and still say you're wrong? No, but, I, I okay. was trying to do it and you kept cutting me off. Yeah, because the way you were starting that <laughs> sentence made it seem... Motherfucker! <laughs> it seemed like you were going to go, and now they've announced Bonfire as a quarter century. It's like, no, no, they haven't. No, <laughs> no. So... The pre-sale prices went up for Bonfire. They started at like 120 here in Australia, then went up to 140, and now I think they've been sitting at like 160, or recently sitting at 160. And like, so uh, it doesn't come out for a week. Chill. Yes. The other thing is, that was when we only thought there was the one rarity. Now, like, we know that As if there wasn't going to be two rarities. That's the thing. People went in assuming that was the case, and now that there's a collector's rare... I'm, I haven't looked it up, but I'm assuming pre-sale prices, or at least market prices, have shifted. I mean, uh, I don't think you can't trust TCG players pre-order price. Yep. I mean, I mean, the market wouldn't shift that much because of the collector's rate. Maybe a little. I think more of the pull rates, like from what we're starting to see, it, is it, yeah, pull rates do seem relatively high. I think thrust is the lower pull rate yeah. than the bonfire. So shock. They've increased by the looks of it the amount of ultras per box. Yeah. So well, traditionally, true. you've only ever gotten three ultras in one of these boxes. Yes. It, now you either get four or the quarter century. Mm. No, I've definitely seen a three. You can get unlucky. You can get unlucky. Yeah. Get a three? You, but okay. you can get a five. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So, so I've seen three. And I've seen like I'll watch. I'm like, oh, this average. Like I'm like, oh, this average is out. And eleven ultra rares in the set. Like, sure, they could short print it, but yeah, mm. like a case you'll see four, maybe five. But we were all jump. We all jumped on the short print accusation a bit too quick. This is well, something that still we still a chance we didn't. also still a chance in our market <laughs> we didn't what we did is uh predict the short print on the wrong card because yeah. thrust is the one that seems a uh, lot lower yeah which that's okay yeah i'm means cool with that. fine for me for two yeah, reasons like i didn't want one anyway <laughs> i will pay 60 70 for a bonfire at 80 i'm gonna be like the, and this is what I was saying in chat. There's already so many ways for that deck to get to cards at once. It does not need yes. another card. It's also a hard once per turn, and I don't know whether or not playing three is correct. Yeah. Opening two bonfire is oh. gonna suck. Just, Does just, it have a graveyard effect as well, or am I no, dreaming? It's well, just wrote as a fighter, hard once per turn. I legitimately thought it had some graveyard recycling effect no. as well. No. But Cut it does that. circle around to the point of like. A lot of people are complaining that this card is expensive. Mm. I The only reason why I would complain that it's expensive is that traditionally pyros have sucked. Yes. Pyro is the worst archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think there's any real debates in the matter. Without this new support, pyros are the worst archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Yeah. Maybe Reptile. I think now maybe Reptile is, is now the worst, given that we've gotten some good pyro cards that are usable and splashable. But the, tr the tri-types... We might get that. <laughs> we had good fish. We've had lots of fish. Lots of fish. We had good yeah. fish. I don't know. Nothing comes to mind. But mm -hmm. still, I get your point. Warrior does suck. Cards. Yeah. So, imagine if Rota released today. Card would be insane. That card just releasing not hard once per turn at three would be $150 before you blink tonight. Yeah. No questions asked. At any warrior in the game. Off you go. I don't remember its original rarity. Super? 
Well, the, first one, the first one I had was common from the structure decks. Yeah. But, uh... This does not shock me. <laughs> yeah. So to... What, I'm, I'm even thinking it might have been in the structure. <laughs> go back to where my brain was going on my point before I took a slight internal tangent on my own point. Um, yeah. It's a generic add any card of an archetype. Like, it's going to be an expensive card. If I add any type, card of a type, hmm. not even archetype, uh, it's going to be an expensive card. Those cards are all traditionally expensive. Yes, it's adding a bad type, but at least it now has a good card to search off it. Hence why it's expensive. Cards that generically search will be expensive cards. It's one of those things where, like, I mean, I'm going to pick them up because I'm, I imagine I'm going to need it eventually. It's going to come up. Yeah. Like, but I wasn't going to pick them up at that price point. Uh, I, the, the cutoff is they do suck. Except for this new deck that probably doesn't need it. 80 is... This is also the kind of card that, like, if they ever did the retrain of the fire structure that they skipped, it will be printed in there as a common. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, that um, fire lion ever gets his retrain starter deck? Oh, God, that deck sucked. That card is going to be reprinted as a common. It and the water one sucked, though. Oh, the water one. Oh, come on. Come on. It did. <laughs> the water one was great because the Neo Delius wasn't the right card text. And you could just summon it off big wave, small wave, and cheat. <laughs> we do need to do more stuff with the Daedalus. I uh. Where water? Where when year of water? Well, they're meant to be review, like they're meant to be revised into the Mermails and Fire Kings, but they just never. So Mermails kind of touched on it, and then they're like, ah, oh, no, let's just never. No, Fire Kings are where we're going. Okay. Um. So, in summation, um, basically my thoughts on that kind of stuff and pre pre-sale prices in general if you feel it's too high chances are it's too high mm. and like you kind of need to use a little bit of your brain and a little bit of your gut as well when you're determining what you do and do not buy into yeah because yeah sometimes it's just not worth it but if it, it, it but it could feel too high is too high but it doesn't matter YCS is coming up You've seen other cards crazy spike before, before crashing. Uh, it just, it's a pun. Like, because yeah. it could go higher. It won't this time. Like, I am currently weighing up whether or not to purchase the card at all. Like, I'll, I'm going to wait two weeks, see what it's at. Wait, I'm probably going to wait for the new support in the next set. If that is also all secret rare and expensive, I'm probably not going to play Vikings twice, yes. Because I would rather... I'd just play deck at YCS and have a bit of fun. Because the Lightsworn is what I wanted to play. Yeah, that's true. Like, I would it rather spend this money on Lightsworn because none of these cards are usable in Lightsworn. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a decent way to look at it. Yeah. It is a shame, though. Like, it is nice if you can go into a YCS feeling confident that your deck can do well. Ben's gone goblin mode at YCS. I will. <laughs> I will play goblins at YCS. <laughs> I will play Goblins of YCS. I will probably come last. <laughs> I think you did say Goblins. It just sounded so quick there. You just said Gobs. I think the second time I just said Gobs, yeah. Uh, I will side deck one copy of Goblin Attack Force. Yeah. Just so if I make day two, I can say I made day two A with Goblins, B with Goblin Attack Force. Imagine attacking for it in time. That would work. Oh, my God. Uh, so, moving off the negative side of that... Um, we do move into, I guess, a neutral area. What's the question? Um, hmm? uh, yeah. We don't know all of them yet, I don't <laughs> think. Or at least that sheet didn't happen. No. Um, but we do have the full breakdown of the new Flame Swordsman archetype as well. Oh, it's, yeah. Uh, yes. A deck that loves to fusion summon, but loves to not fusion summon with any uh, typical fusion spells. Yeah. I did get my Flame Sword Salamander retrain. You did, yeah. you did. Um, because I don't want to read through all of them, I'm going to read through that particular one. Uh, Salamander Fusion, an equip spell, equip only to a Fire Warrior monster. Um, so it's not as generic as the last Hooray. one. Hooray! Uh, gain 700 attack. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle card effect, you can destroy this card instead. When this card equipped to a fusion monster you control, or when it's equipped to a fusion monster you control, you can send this card and the equipped monster to the graveyard. If you do special summon one flame swordsman or fusion monster that mentions it from your extra deck, it's treated as a fusion summon. Uh, you can only activate that effect once per turn. So you said fusion monster in the middle of that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they have a continuous spell that cheats out flame swordsman. Yeah. And then you equip but this, and then you send that and summon a different Can thing. you ready fusion for a fire and then equip it? 
Uh, I don't know what uh, I targets so. they would have. Is it just well, a fire? Is it a fire warrior? You can a just, fire warrior needs to be. You can refuse fusion flame swords. Yeah, I was going to say you can. Re- <laughs> is flame swords on level five? Or is it yeah. a six? Oh yeah, it could be up to a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready fusion finally has a deck. Yes. We've got this. Unfortunately, deck, not great. <laughs> it's cool, though. It's, it's fine. It it's is like, cool. It like. is, like, p- in its purest form, it is nostalgia bait. But if it's, like, enough to do some stuff at locals, then maybe that's okay. Could have gone with a Dark Flare illusion Do stuff at locals angle. is a bit of a reach. That would have been nice. But we, we take that. We take that. Next news story? Yes, uh, but we've, or at least I feel like I've talked about it a couple of times. Um, the TC, uh, OCG had not yet gotten its Gold Pride support announced. Gold Pride. Uh, that was announced through the week. We have a level 5 machine tuner for the main deck. Um, same summoning conditions as normal. Life points are lower, special summon. Uh, banish one other Gold Pride monster from your hand, face off field or graveyard that has a level special summoner Gold Pride token. Uh, with the same level. Also, uh, this card cannot be used for a fusion, zero, synchro, exes, or link summon for the rest of the turn, unless it's a gold pride monster. Mm. Uh, and then they get their level eight uh, synchro, the <coughs> gold pride annihilator. Um, generic monsters. Uh, during your opponent's turn, target a fusion, synchro, exes, or link monster on the field, or up to two of those if your life points are lower than your opponent's. Destroy it. Slash them, I guess. Mm. Uh, once per turn during the end phase of this card or card, with um, activates the effect, return to the extra deck, and if you do special summon one gold pride assassinator, the previously yep. mentioned machine, from your deck or graveyard. So, how quickly do you reckon they'll change the name from being assassinated to Wells? Uh, have We've got assassinators in the game. Yeah, but those were in a time back when arts could be dark and scary. Murderer. How does one even spell assassinator? Gold pride, Ars, murderer. Ars, him. That's how you spell assassin. Yeah, it's not coming up with anything. Okay, see? I-N-A-S-S. I'm right. A-S-S. Jake, uh, Jake yeah. can't find that assassins exist. I was, in I was sure there was an assassin. There are assailants. Uh, maybe. assailant. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, potentially it could get changed. Assassin. But we'll find out. <laughs> They're going to call a gold pride assailant. Probably. Um... Also, in the Legacy of Destruction, we get two new support cards for the Yubel archetype. Um, so, if you control a feed monster, especially some of this card from your hand, then destroy one monster you control that is Yubel or mentions it. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one feed monster with zero attack and defense from your hand or graveyard except itself. Yeah. This this makes Yubel really good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they we, also should, get... we should promote that as secret rares in the new set and make them all the expensive mm. cards. Mm, yeah, no, I mean, this is two sets from now, but... No, no, yeah, but then, we get the yeah, we this set. Make sure to buy yeah. it now. I mean, almost definitely it's going to get a bunch of the quarter centuries and stuff, but as to how many secrets it gets... Remember, Jerome, uh, when putting cards out in the market, make sure the Ubel cards are expensive. Those <laughs> anime people will pay the money. This is the thing, though. They, won't, they can be secret, but does not mean they'll be expensive. Shh. I'm just... just... Anyway, they also get a spell, a field Free spell. Free money, huge. Uh, when this card resolves, take a fiend monster with zero attack and defense from your deck and either add it to your hand or destroy it, which will trigger your bell. Uh, and then once per turn, if a face up your bell monster or monster you control leaves the field by card effect, uh, you can add to your hand one of your your bell monsters that is banished or in your deck or graveyard and is one original level higher or lower than one of those monsters that left the field. Then you can special summon the added monster, ignoring its summoning conditions. I don't know why it doesn't just say special summon that monster. It's a lot of text. Yeah, it's a lot of text. It's a U-Bell monster. I kind of like the look of the U-Bell stuff. It's not No, good. but I'm, I'm just getting at the fact that it's a U-Bell card. They have text. No, 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 I understand that. But, like, this particular card, they've worded it, like, obviously the conditions of the thing you have to search is wordy because, like, it's a level thing. But then they've, like, you can add it to your hand and then you can special summon it. Like, just mm-hmm. say special summon it. You're not adding a Ubel monster to your hand. We've already spoken about these Ubel cards for longer than any match you're involved in with Ubel will last. <laughs> That's not fair. They but still go out and buy those cards. I'm, ju- I'm just saying, you either get OTK'd in two seconds flat, or they scoop. I will say, 
I thought I liked the idea of Ubel until I watched the replays and I realised they're just fiend McCunkos. Exactly. And I lost interest. Um, moving on though, we have a new Mirror Force having been announced. Mm. The it's Mirage the Mirror Force. It's the butt. Yeah. Uh, when your opponent declares an attack, special summon a loser monster from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, return the attacking monster to the hand. If a face-up illusion monster you control leaves a field by an opponent's card while this card is in your graveyard, banish this card, special summon one illusion monster from your hand or graveyard. Mm. So, it's got slightly more utility than most of the other ones. Summon up mirror, uh, use a Mirror Force launcher. No, it only does normal mirror force. Damn. If only. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this card would see lots of play if only it did that. Looks cool. Um, speaking of illusions, though, we get two new illusion monsters having been announced. Both oh, based Rizman on... The no, but they are based on old school yeah. vanillas. When yeah. are we getting the Prisman illusion? I, I'd be, I imagine from the cards. I'd be so down for that. Because I mean, most, most of these have already been... And, it, and Royal Guard as well. And Cockroach Knight. That that's a thing already. They're but, doing ones that we haven't had in oh, the TCG. Because Coddle, Coddle was one. Wait, we we have Prisman in the TCG. I no, haven't. We don't. That was an OCG card, wasn't it? I have a Prisman in the room if you want me to go get it. I thought we tried to get it. And... I I own the card, Jake. I'm telling you. I have Prisman. Ah. Oh, Punishment Dragon's finally going up in price. That's good. Um. Anyway, back to this. Um. So we get went up talons. in price a month ago. Yeah, I know. I tried to sell one at an auction and no one bought it. It's because everyone has them. Not everyone has them. Try again. I, I will. Between us, we own like 40. I know. Oh, okay, and good. that's why we need people to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Talons of Shirelaine. Uh, during your opponent's turn, target a fiend monster or illusion monster you control, accept itself, return to the hand if you do special summon this card for your hand. Is this a quick effect? Yeah. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this is the good one. Yes. All the other one's bad. This good. Uh, if this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by battle. Yeah, Standard yeah, yeah. illusion Don't thing, know why that is in the except for one. like five of them. Uh, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards... Um, oh, target... Yeah. Worded weird. But it targets cards you control. Quick effect. Target one monster your opponent controls. Return this card from the field to the hand if you do destroy that monster. And then you just bring Ghost it. Ogre with slightly more steps. Yeah. You could cool. just Ghost Ogre. You could, but it's not as fun. But this can save, this can dodge an Imperm. Imperm's um, getting, like, shit on. Yes. Yeah, targeting uh, effects are beginning to matter less and less as time goes on. It's because that was where the next point of natural power creep in the game was. Mm. Target? But they limited, Cosmo. they limited Gamma. <laughs> anyway, um, the next one, uh, based on a vanilla... Is the metal uh, cruncher, yeah? Gol Gol. Gol Goyle? The Great Gin of Gol Steel. Gol Gol Sure. Uh, level 10 Earth Illusion. Is yep. it based on. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Yeah. Oh, that's Go Okay. Yeah. Uh, if this card battles a monster, it can be destroyed by, by, by that battle. If your machine or illusion Gol-gol? monster battles, after damage calculation. Gol-gol. You can target one of your monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, special summon it. Yep. Uh, if this card is banished from the field, you can special summon it. Yep. This card's going to all work really well with that new uh, that new illusion that is going to be searchable of sinful spoils. Is, she's not searchable of sin, sinful spoils, is she? Damn, then this will have to search up. I, I, I'm joking, you don't need to. <laughs> we don't need to do, do points of research. Rag likes illusions, so I like to bring up when we get illusion support. Thank yeah, but that's getting very common now. <laughs> yeah, more. I mean, at some, at some point there will be good ones. When the prison comes, I don't know when, I don't know the, when first, that, the first, like that first one, that first one's right. fine. The second one, yeah. at the moment though, the, the thing with illusions is they're just very gimmicky. Like, but they're so outside, easy to summon. Like, it's, if they make a cracked one, they are so easy to summon. Outside of Chimera, they don't seem to really have a game plan no. going. The rest of them just seem to just try and do funny shit. They're going to summon the Prisman Illusion Fusion. Prisman. Sorry. Give that him is his, the name of the fusion. Give him his proper time. I, I know where I want it to go. I'm not sure how many years I have to wait. But I'm going to wait. Gonna, it's going to be called Prisman and there'll be three Prisman on the picture. Uh, anyway, moving on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Sorry, Our first one. I just want to get something out of the either. What's Jerome. <laughs> If you print a Prisman illusion, Prisman, can it please 
be in a little outfit and look like one of the three musketeers. Prince that, gentleman. That is all. Can we fast track the Pegasus stuff, please? Thank you. Yeah, I want illusion. Uh, no, what is it called? Illusionist faceless mage archetype. Yeah. Pleasant things. Illusion tunes. Oh Christ! So many more. They already can't be destroyed by battle. What are them. cartoons but illusions? What is reality but an illusion? First question this week comes to us from Ragai. Uh, how much time do you think you spend on Yu-Gi-Oh each week? Did we say this last week? I no. don't think we did. I no. spend four hours on Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wait, no, I've got locals not more than an hour. I spend... Didn't? I spend no, about I, eight, I swear eight hours. I answered this. I haven't answered this. Eight. Eight to ten. Yeah. Nowhere near what I used to. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say somewhere between 10 and 12 if you count Master Duel. I don't play enough of that. I'm happy about it. <laughs> Does just reading, like, it depends on what you count as that. Like, building decks, testing, locals, Master Duel. Going to KFC thingy, after? Switch, yeah. Chatting, thinking about it. It all depends. Generally, being at locals is about seven hours of my week. Yeah, it's a pretty big chunk of mine. If we have the podcast, it's another hour. Oh, yeah, I yeah, forgot to add the it. podcast. When I edit the podcast, that's another hour. Does the, when I put render and then walk away count? There's no amount of hours, it's just a part of me. And <laughs> I commit whatever is there. Grab the yeah. 2017 box, it's another hour. Yeah, we're gonna it's a lot of time. Um, we're going to upload that. There was a second part of this question. Um, between the time spent by a casual... Oh, yeah. What's the difference between uh, the time spent by a casual player versus a competitive player in terms of quality? I, th I think there's three tiers. I think the, the ultra casual is like... Actually, I'm fairly sure I would spend the same amount of time as a, just a, as pretty ultra casual. If that casual goes to like two locals a week and it's just like I'm having fun. Two a week seems a lot, a lot for a casual though. Yeah, I mean, based on the casual people that we've interacted with, they can barely make it to one a week. Depends on the locals. <laughs> if it's chill locals, where everyone plays bad decks. Oh, I play bad decks. Slight, <laughs> slight tangent, but we should organise the next alt format thing before... We just... YCS. No, we just did. We've got, we've got, our three, we've got three months. Yeah. Surely it's a three-month window. I don't know. We can't do monthly. So we're going to do a post YCS, is what you're telling me. Yeah, normally. Yeah. Why, yeah. Would, you, why would you do it pre YCS? That's perfect. Because we can get it out of the way now and then just no. grind. No, but then we want to. We've we'll, just done the charity tournament like three weeks ago. Yeah, we'll want to mess around after YCS. Leave it till then. April, coming <laughs> soon. In the time between YCS and Fine. Lights One. We traditionally do it in December anyway. Well, traditionally April. Yeah, but then we've got like the other stuff as well, not just the charity stuff. Like you've got like charity, we'll go tag, we'll the Highlanders, the tags, charity in in August. We used to do fucking all for that December. Do you know who we are? Let's let's next question. Uh, next and last question this week comes to us from if it opens up the right fucking job. Lost in contact, mm. or oh, lost contact rather. Hi, lost uh, contact. What is your testing process? He's prepping for YCS <laughs> Sydney and his goal is to make day two. Do you think that practicing with multiple decks is more affecting than testing the one deck? Uh, Depends if you know what you're playing. Yeah. If you don't know what you're playing, probably test with like, pick like three, test with those three. When you know what you're playing, um, if you can tolerate it, play on Dueling Book, play with your friends. Get your combos done. Like, yeah, learn your combo lines, but Dueling Book will give you the most exposure to the most amount of decks. The issue is like whether or not you can bear to do that. Like, I can't. I can't do it um, anymore. At which point, I just... Locals every week. And the, the biggest problem with Dueling Book test... Well, there's a lot of problems with Dueling Book testing. But one... <laughs> sorry. Uh, playing with friends. Um, yes. The biggest problem with playing with friends is that if you go away for ages, which most people do, because it's like a toxic, disgusting place to be, when you, you come back, come back and shit. you have to verse like the blue eyes guy who's just started playing and doesn't know how to click the buttons. It's such a fucking process. Just to get to the racists at the top tier that want to abuse you every time you play. Like, it's a, <laughs> it's a terrible place! It's successful. I it's imagine so... there'll be people in the Discord as well that would be keen to test over, over voice channel or over, like... Yeah, you can probably actually, vet that. Like, that's put, not put shout outs in either our Discord or other Discords. No, we can just set call. up in our Discord. Yeah, we can set up some tables and do yeah. some remote calls. Yeah. 
I actually rate that idea. We might. We'll set that, that up. Yeah. We'll set yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the Discord down below. Yeah. Link in the description. And don't worry, we won't be charging you to test with us because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, that's very much it, is getting that eye, getting your combos right. Also, I, is it, wait, is it their first one Uh, doesn't say so. Yeah, well, I, yeah, there's not, just chill. Like, just, just know your deck, stick with your deck, change your text, but like, I say two weeks out, probably don't change, unless if it's like, unless you're on some real trash. Probably would recommend not over committing to Fire King, like playing a countering Fire King. Yeah, because there'll be a few in the room, but... Because, like, last year I, I overcommitted to playing against tier, and then I played one tier in my eight matchups. Yeah, and that's like, how many tiers are in the room? Heaps. Where are they? I don't know. Somewhere else. Traditionally, for our YCSs, you don't get above, like, a quarter representation, so... Yeah, we day. tend to like the rogue slash not yeah. meta pick. So just be prepared for that. Yeah, have a good deck against the... Especially if you're only making day two. Yeah, you don't need a hard counter that, like... You need to counter the decks that you're going to verse. Like, if you drop a round or two... Make sure to be ready to play against Sprite, because that will come up. Yeah. Um, yeah, make sure you get a good variety of testing. And, like, obviously, testing against Vikings is going to be important because it is going to be one of the more powerful decks in the room. But have a good knowledge base on, like, your key decks that you're likely to verse, because that's right. one issue that we've come across in the last couple of years, is that certain people at our locals haven't been playing, like, one or two decks, and those are the decks that I know that I've been blindsided by. So, I, so across cyber. I run into the issue of pairing someone who's playing the deck that Jake's playing, and then they play cards that I've never fucking seen before. <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, I see it's just because Jake's playing the way Jake wants to play the deck. <laughs> Don't, how dare you? That's literally <laughs> the excuse you gave me last time. Well, I was like, why aren't you doing like these combo lines in Unchained? And you're like, this is the way I like to play the deck. <laughs> and on that bombshell. Wow. Ben blaming me for his losses, okay. No, I didn't say I lost. I'm just saying I've seen cards that I wasn't prepared for. In Unchained? Yeah. Like the whole DDD package and all that shit. Oh, the, yeah, because the DDD package is fucking garbage. It's needed now because we lost two of our best cards. But anyway, that concludes us for this there week. Thank to be you. a murder happening outside. Yeah. yeah. So we're or an go. assassination. Yeah. An assailant. No, no, an assailanting. Which there <laughs> yes. are two we don't Yu Gi Oh cards with assassination in the flavor text. Ooh. The flavor text? Yeah, it's not, it's not in the title. Mm, uh, interesting. Anatsu, which. Swallow? No. Shocker? Wait. Anatsu? Isn't that one of those plain Ansu? things? Anatsu? It's the pirate. Ansu. It's the pirate ninja. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Ansu. Okay. Ah, uh, so let's the go uh, guy from. And then Dark Assailant. Ninja Dice. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alright, uh, that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. As stated, we do have a Discord. Links in the description below. Uh, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Favorite if you're listening along. And we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye.